Well, flames quickly took over 60 acres of land yesterday, burning and threatening multiple structures. Crews on the ground were able to dig out a complete fire line, which prevented the flames from spreading. While up above, multiple aircraft have been dousing the blaze, working for hours to get ahead of this fire. Well, that fire started in Stevens County. Take a look at this map. That's just several miles from Colville. Aircraft proved to be a critical asset in taming those flames that threatened homes. Our Jordan Smith got a front row seat in one of the planes that soared above yesterday's fire. He joins us with the pilot's perspective ahead of what's expected to be a busy wildfire season. Well, I'm sitting here in the cockpit of one of the key tools when it comes to wildfire season. We're in the fire boss and this tanker can drop up to 800 gallons of water on a fire and they were active all throughout yesterday trying to get those flames under control. Every wildfire season, a select group takes to the skies. My name is Chris Hopman. I'm a uh, fire boss pilot. Hopman was the pilot of one of the nine aircraft soaring through the thick plumes of smoke on Thursday. His plane dropping thousands of pounds of water on flames inching towards property lines. I go something like this, and then you can step on the seat. And I'm Hopman giving us a look inside his office. Sure I got an upper switch here, then we'll deploy the scoops on the bottom of the floats. It takes about 20 seconds to scoop up 800 gallons of water. Also circling the sky was the biggest tanker in their fleet, the DC-10. I think it holds 10,000 gallons of retardant. Uh, if their structure's threatened or infrastructure threatened, power lines, things like that, that's when they call those guys up. The air support, a vital weapon with each record-breaking wildfire season particularly because the margin of error is so slim. It is a race against time, and I guess that's what gets us as pilots hooked on this. It's, you know, it could go fly an airliner and hit the autopilot button, but instead we get to go out and actually make a difference. The gravity of their job, certainly not lost on them. Especially when homes are threatened, it takes it to another level where, you know, that that could be my cabin down there full of all my stuff, you know, so it, it takes it to a puts it in a different perspective when you want to protect people's people's livelihood or, you know, investments. As the Moran Creek fire is contained, crews and pilots are standing ready ahead of a predictably busy wildfire season, especially with fireworks popping off this weekend. Yeah, I think the fire season is definitely here and just going to be on the increase in Deer Park. Jordan Smith for News Now.